Uh, so far, the space is a little sketchy. Yeah. 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 What's going on, man? Yeah, man. What's going on, man? Thanks for having us down here. Thanks for having me. Sam Rule. Yeah, you're saying? Just talking about big wet butts. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Seven? That's where it peaked, really. What's poppin', y'all? It's your boys. You know uh -uh. what I'm saying? We in the building. Our next guest needs no introduction. He is the one, the only, K. Najihani. You said that's sexy. You know what I'm saying? And I give you a, like a initial. A little, he gave you, it's yeah, a little. Yeah, were you nervous about pronouncing my first name? No, because I'm, because my name is Joel. Uh-huh. And all my life people were like, hey, Joel. Oh. Hey, Joel. So that shit pisses me off. Uh-huh. So. Kamal. Yeah. Joel and Kamal. It rhymes. Joel How do you spell Kamal? Joel? Wait, wow. J-O-E-L. -O. Okay. I'd watch that show. Yeah, Joel, Joel, Joel and Kamal. Yeah. 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 And then I go on Fox News and say that's what's wrong with this country. <laughs> Yeah, this is a real nightmare for them right now. <laughs> yeah, like the three of us too here. brown. There's no yeah. too much. There's <laughs> nobody I can connect to. It's like there's, just, just pick yeah. a shade. Yeah, they're, right. they're ethically yeah. ambiguous. Yeah, exactly. You can go all the way dark or a little light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who am I here? Uh, do you still have problems with people? Do you, like people still mispronounce your name? Or uh, at your point now that people make a dedicated attempt at Well, here's the thing. They don't make a dedicated attempt, mm -hmm. and, and that pisses me off. But the other thing, th it still, like yesterday, this guy came up to me and got my autograph and was like, hey, do you get free White Castle all the time? And I was like, wow. Wow. why would I get free White Castle? Tell me why I would get free White Castle. Is it because you're, you're, you're Kumar, dude? <laughs> it, dude, Kumar, it happens. Dude. It, the thing is, people will yell Kumar at me, which is not even his real name. <laughs> Cal it's is Cal his real name. <laughs> it's Cal Penn. At worst. Oh my God. So yeah. what, do you, what do you do in that situation? You I just... say, I always say, that's the other one. That's my <laughs> yeah. one I always say. No, that's the other one. Hey, you were great on uh, The Daily Show, Nat. That's, that's the other that's one. That's the other guy. <laughs> yeah. See, it used to be, now there's a bunch of us. Yeah. So it's getting more complicated for people. But as it, because there's more... Hopefully, are the roles changing that you get offered, or is it still getting like? Yeah, I think they're changing. You know, I've done a bunch of parts where it's it was sort of the names are not like Middle Eastern or Pakistani or Indian names or anything like that. So, so I think it's changing. Obviously, there's a long way to go. Right. But I could see that people are making the attempt. Now they might be making the attempt because they're getting pressured to make the attempt. For me, it's about the results. So whatever gets the job done, I'm cool. Yeah, my mom used to whip my ass and I got A's. Did you really? Yeah. Wow, you know, I don't meet many people who were good at school. Um, I was really good at school. Were you good at school? Uh, not really, I didn't. It wasn't really my flow. It wasn't your yeah. flow? That's what <laughs> I, I should have told my mom. Things. What? Why did you get to see? Well, that's not really my flow, like, mom. I don't like the vibes of the TV. <laughs> yeah. you know? I'm getting bad energy I'm from like, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a TV human. show when I get older. Don't worry about it. Mom. It's, it'll all work out. It'll all work out. Yeah. I, I like to ask this to people. What's the most annoying question you ask, get asked in every interview? It's interesting. Every single job you do, there's a point like a day or two into the prep where you're like, oh, no, that's going to be the question I'm going to get asked all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. And this one is, do you have a crazy Uber story? And what I did was I decided each time somebody asked me that, I would give a different answer and I wouldn't prepare it. Right. So I had to, in the moment, come up with something. So if you, I don't know if Let's anybody- Let's try it right can, now. Let's try it right now. Yeah. Do you have a crazy Uber story? What's crazy Uber Dude, story? Dude, I got in once and there was like a guy who was asleep right next to me. What? Yeah, like next to me. And I looked at the guy and uh, the driver and I was like, hey, what's this guy's deal? And he's like, that's Uber pool. And then we went and we had to drop the guy, the, for, the other guy off first. So I had to like wake him up like, dude, dude, it's your plan. And he was like asleep and he couldn't. And then he finally woke up and he was like, hey, loved you on Big Bang Theory. And then he got out of the car. Wow. And then he was like, that's the other one. That's the that's other the one. one. <laughs> Let's say this Hollywood thing does not work out. Would you be an Uber driver? I, the problem is, other than this thing, I don't think I'm good at anything else. Like I've tried other stuff. I'm bad at it. Such as? Give an example. Uh, I worked in an office, mm -hmm. you know, I worked at restaurants, I, I cleaned dishes, I was bad at everything, I, I did tech support, I was bad at it. Or, I could become a pro professional video game player. Are you Apex Legend or Fortnite? Do you play any no, of those? No, I, I can't play online anymore because it got too much. People yeah. get like way too intense online and, yeah. I, and I can't deal with it. It is wild. It's 
borderline toxic. It's no borderline toxic? <laughs> what is toxic it's for you? Funny. Someone stabbing you in the face? <laughs> they say words to me that I'm like, oh, I have not heard that since yeah, sixth grade. Right. I'm like, wow, you yeah. brought out a dead stock racial slur. Wow. Wow, yeah, wow that's what? a throwback. I'm like, Thank I'm, you. You, you. Did he call me cauliflower? Wow. I'm to go to oh, Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Like, what the fuck does <laughs> that mean? I think I should be offended. <laughs> Give like, me a I'm second. Like, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to go talk to my professor of English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess really. Do you play online? Oh, yeah, all the time. What do you and I have four kids, so like I I cycle in between like the two Ks, Madden's, MLB the show, yeah. to, from from that to like Kirby's Dreamland yeah. and like all over the place. And I, I smoke mad weed too, so like that uh -huh. helps. I used to play online, but I would always play like I used to play like Call of Duty and Halo and like shooting games yeah, like yeah. that. Then I tried to play NBA online. The problem is if you're playing like Halo. You're with a group of dudes for yep. 10 minutes and then it's done. Mm -hmm. If you're playing NBA, you're talking to one guy one for guy. an hour. Like an hour. Yeah. It's so intense. And they're talking mad. It, like, I don't say shit when I'm on the mic. And that's no. why I don't play sports games online anymore because I, I wouldn't say anything. Because I would just be, the other guys on the mic, I'm busting your ass, I'm killing, oh, I'm killing. Yeah. Oh, it'll be like an 11 year old from North Dakota being like, I'm fucking killing you, bro. Yeah. I'm killing you, bro. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. And then yeah, out come the slurs. <laughs> yeah, the slurs. Yeah, with me, you know, I, I haven't played in a long time, but I, I was always impressed by how quickly they could nail my accent. I yeah. was like, it is wrong that you're racist, but. You are Shout being you. accurate in that you are applying the racism yeah. correctly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that happened to me the other night. You like, Pakistani business? Are you like, yeah, oh, you're like, oh wow. okay. You okay. did the research. Shout out to you. At least props. I was for playing that. Call of Duty, and someone was like, You're black, right? And I was like, How? <laughs> I was like looking around. I was like, Is oh, Alexa on? Like, that, was, that, was, that was a very nice way of them to tell you. They, told me, in a, they right? told me in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> With a hard R. <laughs> Dave Batista, what do you like? He's the sweetest, sweetest guy in the world. Yeah. It's really, well, here's the thing. I think if you're like a strong man like that, mm -hmm. you have all the powers. So you don't need to posture and be a dick. But, you know, guys like me, we have to like pretend to be hard. But Yo, what the fuck? Yeah. Hey, what did you say? Yo. Is that, what, how, is that yeah. how you enter the room? Like, yeah. Like tough? That's like? the other guy. I <laughs> no, um, he's just the sweetest, sweetest guy in the world. It's really, it's really crazy how, what a nice guy he is. Well, that's the theory is like if a guy is that big, you're automatically not going to fuck with them. So no. they don't even need to be tough, right? Because right. they just like, the, you judge a book by its cover and you're yeah. like, all right, let me not fuck with this You dude. know how cool he is? We, we take pictures together for this while we're doing this press tour and I noticed a while later that he was like, in the pictures with me, he's always kind of squatting, so he's not like towering over oh, me. Wow. He's so sweet. <laughs> nice. It's yeah. a little thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a little thing. I mean, that's really sweet. Immigrant, children of immigrants, do your parents consider what you do to be a real job. No, and they're right. <laughs> it's not a real job. Was there a job they wanted you to do? Well, they wanted me to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. I, I have a lot of doctors in the family, but they never really like pushed me once they, I remember I've been doing stand-up for a while and I got to do Letterman. I, after I did, I did a set on Letterman, late night with David Letterman, and uh, it was going, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. You know, and I told my parents and my dad would watch it. And he was like, it was really funny. He was like, so, do you think you'll ever go to med school? And I was like, I just did I just wow. did my dad! No! Ooh, no one could kick your legs out from you like family. Yeah. Wow, oh my God, he said some stuff to me that I was like. Yeah. Oh. I, had, I had to literally give my parents money for, to validate the career to them. Like, look, I can give you this amount of money that Seems I was like not able to do before. Their ploy worked. <laughs> They're like, we're not giving them any validation until we get some money. Until we get some us. money, now right. we're gonna hype them up. Yeah. <laughs> So you wrote The Big Sick. Yes. Which I saw. Yeah. Okay. And I sat there and I was like, I'm not going to like this movie. Because someone picked it out and I was like, yeah, we'll mm -hmm. see what it is. And then I was like, this kind of, I like, <laughs> fucks with this shit. Yeah, my wife Emily and I, we wrote that movie. Why did you think you weren't going to like it? Because I thought it was going to be like some romance BS or whatever. <laughs> like, I was like, ah, I was like, oh. Rom-com? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Something like like some of that movie. What's it? Uh, uh, Eat, Pray, Love or the, the, what was the one? Bridget Jones. Five Hundred Days of Summer. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Jones. Yo, is she go is Shorty gonna die? Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got real. Yeah. That was a completely true story. Yeah, I mean that's what happened. Yeah, she, yes. she was in a coma for many, many days. Well, nine days, which is a lot of days that's to be a in a coma. Yeah, yeah, I mean any amount of days is a long. Five time minutes is a long coma. coma. Yeah. Nine days is a is a long coma. Shit. Shout out to you. I, think, I feel like a coma's a deal breaker for me. Oh, someone's in a coma, you're like, I'm out? 
I, I, didn't, over. I didn't sign up for that in the beginning. Uh huh. Hey, things aren't really working out. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, gonna leave you a note for when you wake up. <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, coma <laughs> is ghosting. Yeah, coma is ghosting. It really wow, is. that is dark. It is. That's dark. You could just go because you don't want to break up over text, so you just yeah. go and yeah. say it. Like, you know beep. Like you just speak over the beeps. Like, like hey, hey, it's hey. not working out. <laughs> it's me, not you. It's definitely <laughs> my fault. You know. Yeah. Blink once if you want to break up. Yeah. It's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just right. feel like I'm not getting anything back in this relationship. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm giving a lot, but I'm, I'm not doing here. all the heavy lifting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, li literally lifting yeah. the sponge yeah. of water to your lips. You, this you, is supposed to be a dialogue. It feels like a monologue. Right. You've you know laughed at none of my jokes. <laughs> I'm here workshopping some stuff, Dave. Come on. <laughs> Help me out. So you were nominated for an Oscar for that? Yeah, Emily and I were nominated for an Oscar. We lost to Jordan Peele. Happy to lose to Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. Always, Peele. always, always. What do you say to Jordan Peele after that? Do you just say congrats or do you just like, like call and hang up? My shit was real, motherfucker. Yeah, you know, yeah I was like, fuck you. Yeah. Exactly. I haven't right? seen Get Out, but I'm sure it's not all that. No, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone talking about? I, I was the only one in the theater going, boo. Everyone's like, yeah. The movie's not that good. Boo. You know it was a good movie? Yeah. Yeah. Big sick. Yeah. Big sick. Big, Big, Big sick. Yeah, it's actually in the next theater over, yeah. so y'all can go see it. Yeah. Why don't you get out of here, Jordan Peele? <laughs> Um, no, I'm friends with Jordan, so I was very, very, honestly, I shouldn't say this, but when I looked at the nominees, I was like, I would be happy to lose to Jordan. Don't really want to lose to anybody else, right. but if I lose to Jordan, if we lose to Jordan, I'm not going to be upset. And then wasn't upset, was very, very happy for him, because you don't, you know, we were like happy to be nominated, we knew we weren't going to win, but then that 30 seconds before, mm -hmm. that thing, you really so like, good. I think there's a shot. Yeah. You mean, you, you mean win. talking to Nick fans? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This could happen. Yeah. Oh, hey, this could be our year. Oh my God. Are we getting Zion? Oh, oh, is that, is that, oh, we gotta win 11 oh. games this season. Oh yeah, that really, really, really bad, really bad stuff happened recently. <laughs> it's almost like somebody up there hates the Knicks. You know what it is? I feel like Madison Square Garden might be buried on some sort of ancient cemetery. Yeah, it's like a poltergeist. That's the only thing. That's, yeah. it's, it's we got to burn it down. And that poltergeist is James Olin. <laughs> he just comes out and he's like, ah! He comes out the TV like, ah, motherfucker, I hope you like. Oh, man. <laughs> What's it like being nominated, though? Like, does that... Because you can throw that up on a resume. Well, you don't take a resume. Yeah, no, when I go to Starbucks, I'm like, uh, Oscar nominated Kamel Nanjiani, and they're like, you're great on The Daily Show. <laughs> you're like, that's the other guy. <laughs> that's the other guy. That's the other guy. Yeah. You got to say it with bass. Yeah. I was the only one who was nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, that's right. Come on, stop playing with me. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's obviously very exciting. You know what's cool is you go to all these events then, and you're sort of hanging out with, like, Steven Spielberg. And oh, they like Oscar pre-events or something? There's, like, Oscar pre-events, yeah. Oh. There's like a luncheon, and they sort of sit you with random people, so you could be sitting next to, you know, Spielberg or Guillermo del Toro or all these people that I'm, you know, a huge fan of and have been forever. So it's. Uh, have you ever sat next to somebody and been like, "Holy shit, I'm sitting next to so and so"? Uh, yeah. It's well. I mean, you know, it's it's Spielberg was a big one for me, but uh, when I I met Oprah and that was pretty exciting. What was that like? Yo, it's like meeting fucking. I don't even know. Like, you, know Oprah, you should. You guys should have her on. I mean, we've tried. Have, have you tried? Oprah on the show? Tried, and Oprah's like, who are you? Yeah, <laughs> Oprah. I don't. I don't know if we're on Oprah's radar. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on your T-shirt. I don't know if I'm on Oprah's yeah. radar. Uh, well, Oprah, if you're watching, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, you know your favorite show, 11 p.m. You get a little smizzy and watches. You know, yeah. Come on. Oprah, thumbs up. See? from me. Here we go. That's. Come on the That's show. the vote of confidence we need. Yeah, come on the show. Just wear something cool. So I heard that New York City street food is your guilty pleasure. Yeah, I love New York City. Street what do you? Food. What's your? I go like to? lamb. You know, you like lamb. Street meat and really, really hot. Like, get me the hottest <laughs> hot sauce you have yeah. and pour that on there. Woo. That's what I love. Yeah. Whew, I love hot sauce. You got a main spot that you hit every time. Cause the, the, the yeah, halal little, guys little, is halal really guys. good. Yeah. They live up to the hype. Yeah, I like that, halal. Night, that line. That line is long, but you know what it is? I think the trick is the hot sauce. Their hot, hot sauce is like really, really hot. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what the line is for. Because, you know, I think the meat is pretty much the same everywhere, but right. that hot sauce, I think they make that, and that's pretty good. So have you ever gotten sick from eating street food in New York City? I have a pretty strong stomach. Um, I haven't really. If I have, I've never connected it. it. Yeah. I have a theory that 
because street food is probably handled improperly, it builds up a tolerance. I think too. that's right. Well, you know, I grew up in Pakistan. Whenever I had cousins visit from other, other countries, they would always get sick and we would eat it and not get sick. Mm -hmm. uh, I, well, this is not a good story, but a, my cousin <laughs> and her husband got sick. They ate in Pakistan, and again, the Pakistani street food is the best in the world. I will risk anything to keep eating it. Yeah. But they share, they both got hepatitis from a plate of food, but they got different <laughs> strains of hepatitis. What? So in one plate, there were at least two, two different two kinds of hepatitis. <laughs> They're like, yo, what'd you get? C, what'd you get? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. There's a hepatitis P? Yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. I gotta leave a Yelp review after that. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Food was excellent. Yeah. Food was excellent. Got Had hepatitis. a good time. But. Yeah. Yeah, big but. <laughs> Wow. Hepatitis. So, so that's the sequel to Big Sick? Yeah. Uh, big yeah, big Sicker? Yeah. Big Sicker? Big Sicker. <laughs> <laughs> They're both yeah. in comas. We're just watching them for an hour. It's, <laughs> it's very, very boring. <laughs> <laughs> just it's literally like watching paint dry. Who's going to wake up first? That's the whole movie. You yeah. just, I'm like, you just track the beeps. <laughs> the movie's like beep, 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 beep. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, they pump fakes. Oh, uh, <laughs> pump fakes. <laughs> The Hollywood. Oh, the nurse is coming in. The nurse is coming in. It's like an art movie. <laughs> the high reporter said you're one of the most powerful people in comedy. And you were one of Times 100 most influential people? That was last year. Yeah. Are yeah. You, I don't think. think I so? don't feel powerful no? in comedy in any way. No. I mean, Even when you're. I don't think anybody in comedy is powerful. Jordan Peele. Other than Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele is a Get famous. out, Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele, Jordan, Jordan Peele could be <laughs> half of the comedy world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> He's the Make room for us. <laughs> uh, Twilight Zone, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find another. Uh, um, so you don't feel powerful? I don't You really. don't feel like you're a shot caller? No, no, not at all. There's always, you know, the problem with each, you sort of live and die by each thing. So mm -hmm. something's ahead. You're powerful, something's not ahead, suddenly it all goes oh, away, you know? I mean, if you look at all the people who've had like their one like year of being famous and then they disappear. You don't even think of those people. It happens in comedy specifically all the time. People oh. will show up, be in everything, and then just, just go disappear. away. Yeah, just disappear. Damn, shit. Yeah, Fuck. Right? Yeah, it's really scary. Right? Stop yeah. doing dramatic roles then yeah. or some shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, how long have you guys had this show? Uh, About uh, 27 episodes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still kind of popular. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a lot of magazines and shit. Like, oh, fair. yeah, people totally read magazines still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, you're in magazines. Ah. That's great. Yo, give it up one time for my man Kumail. <laughs> I'm doing this for Kumail. No, 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 you guys are doing great. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is what the only show I was excited to do. <laughs> For real, I hope uh, I hope the uh, other shows don't watch this. Yo, give it up for our guy Kamal. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Stuber. It's in theaters. Yeah, yeah July, July 12th. 12th. July 12th. You know what I'm saying? Go so watch it. Don't watch it on Fire Stick. That's you know wrong. That's stuff. Or That's... else we'll be like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't don't make us do that. Don't make us do this. I'll bring Batista with me. Exactly. Who's, who's in the movie with me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he will body slam the shit out of you. That's right. He's not, but no, he won't. He's nice. Oh, he's very strong though. Yeah, he's extreme. Has he ever like flexed unnecessary on the set, like lifted something that didn't need to be lifted just to show? No, there was one time where uh, no, he's very, very. But when he's like angry, mm -hmm. he's not demonstrative, but you could tell, and it's really, it's really scary. It's like having like a grizzly bear on set. <laughs> so you, you always never know. want to be like, hey, you're cool, man. You're but, cool. Uh, hey. Yeah. No, he's a. Uh, very cognizant of his power and 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 holds it within. He doesn't he doesn't spray it around. He's li he should do this show. You guys would love him. Yeah, oh, shit. Come yeah. On. Oprah Dave, and Dave, Dave Batista. Boys. There we go. Get those people. You people on. get those. Get the numbers. Someone call. Yo, Oprah. Yo Kumail is co-signed both of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oprah and Dave. So yeah. Oprah. If you had to choose one, who do you have on first? Ah, uh, damn, you gotta say Oprah. Yeah, you gotta She's, say like, Oprah. Like, you know I'm what? Like, you can go anywhere and be like, yo, Oprah. And motherfuckers will be like, what? what? But the thing is, like, I feel like Dave Bautista is gonna see it because he's gonna be like, yo, you should go do the show. So he's gonna watch it. So I'm gonna say Dave Bautista. Oh, you're, so you're gonna come in and fuck us uh, up. But True. your cynical reasoning, he's gonna see that too. We could cut that out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so just look at the camera and say, definitely Dave Bautista. Dave, definitely, definitely Dave, Dave Bautista, 100%. <laughs> Great, that'll work. <laughs> All right, you, you're a fan of street meat, you know New York City, you know bodegas have neon signs. What would your neon sign say? That's the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> 
Stuber starts. You know what I'm saying? Stuber <laughs> opens tomorrow. Oh, so, shit. Tomorrow's July 12th. Shit. Yeah, what the fuck is July 12th? Stuber opens July 12th. Go see it. You know what I'm saying? It's not him. It's the other guy. Yeah, I mean, no, but I am in this one. He's the other in this guy, one, though. No. The other he's guys in are not one. in this Not the one. others. No. Stop. Stop calling me fucking John Leguizamo, too. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Do you get Leguizamo? No, I don't. I get Will Smith with diabetes. <laughs> you, could, you could see it, though, right? You could see it. As soon as you said that. Check it out. You see it, right? I will. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, a sad, just the saddest episode of Fresh Prince ever. Yeah, like, Will, my- you're insulin. You're insulin, Will. <laughs> Why my leg don't want me, man? <laughs> <laughs> but that's more pursuit of happiness, Will. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, not that's Fresh not. Prince. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wild, wild Wild West. Let's see how that goes. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. they bring that with a royal burger, I'm in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But no, like, comedians have a short shelf life, according to you. Well, they so can. we got to turn into dramatic roles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that your dramatic role right there? I, was, I pivoted. Right there, you just I, seen it. I had one tear. You see? Yeah, have, that's a for both of us. Thank you. 